so we will continue our lecture on developing a larger size application using fragments which uses many other concepts so far in the code you have only seen what we had already discussed in the lectures that is fragments etc today you will see something which is new it is called recycler view recycler view is used when you want to display lots of items on a smaller screen so let us get started with our recycler view so just to remind this is our previous code we have got multiple files ready here one is a report list activity one is report fragment one is report list fragment which is currently doing nothing and then one is our simple report file and then a report store and then we also have a abstract class for single fragment activity we also did few layouts so our first layout was this activity fragment layout which is nothing but just a container and our second layout was the layout of the individual report item so now let's move forward and start developing something new so now essentially what we want is that on our main display we want to show a list of items so we so i would like to report here report number one report two report three report four report five and things like this now we want now we can do that uh, for example we can just replicate this all over the place uh, let us say just the title of it however the problem in that approach is that if we have 100 element then we will have to display 100 titles uh, which basically means that we are making memory for 100 text views while actually the user can only view the titles which are currently visible on the screen that is that fit the screen size and they may be 12 20 uh, but definitely not 100 so the recycler view solved this problem by reusing what has been created earlier so let's get started with our recycler view and we will also create an adapter and we will also create a view holder so yes first things first let's do the program and then we will come back again so we have a fragment underscore report now we let's create a fragment underscore report I'll go to the text and uh, first let's remove this part and I will add some of my code here and draw it dot support support dot v7 dot with Jet dot recycler view. Then we can have actually we let's bring back the previous code. And the only thing I'm going to change is that instead of the linear layout, I will make it Android dot. Support dot v7 dot widget dot recycler view, and then we can simply, simply, simply write. <coughs> now 
now xml ns uh, http schemas android.com slash apk slash android we leave it as it is layout width match parent layout height match parent we leave it as it is we will just remove this line and instead we will add id because we are going to make use of it so we need to create an id for it plus id slash slash report underscore recycler underscore view oh. yeah so now our uh, uh, now our layout file is there we will now write the code file so we created a report list fragment earlier which used to expand fragment today we are going to add some code into it so private recycle view m cycler view and we have to only override one method which is public view on create view layout inflator inflator to group container bundle saved stands state that's it we have to pass some alt enter to view now what kind of view uh, do you think we will uh, we will return here well uh, the one which uh, we just created so let us say view view inflator inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot fragment report list container false just like the last time and let me press alt and m report recycler view equal to recycler view view dot find view by id r dot id dot report cycler view and then m report recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager get activity after that we return view which we just created now as you will see that the moment we created a recycler view we gave it a linear layout manager so the recycler view always requires a linear layout manager if you do not pass a linear layout manager into it it will crash now let's move forward so here in our case the recycler views responsibility is to recycle the text views that is the title of the report and to position them on the screen 
but the recycler view does not do the job of positioning item from the screen itself that is uh, passed down to the layout manager that it is using so this layout manager over here will handle the positioning of the items and as well as it will define what happens if you scroll so if the layout manager is not there as you can see that recycler view will simply crash now there are many built-in layout managers in android uh, but we are using here linear layout manager which will position our list vertically because that's how we want we want our list to go vertically uh, if you want it into a grid then possibly you can use a grid layout manager or if you want so it depends on the requirements that you have and based on those requirements you choose the layout manager that you are going to use now let's um, start defining the view holder and we will do this as a inner class of our report list fragment so we continue adding code so as you know from your java knowledge that we can define inner classes and that is what we are doing here so report holder will be an inner class which extends recycler view dot view holder and we just do some basic development which is declaring a basic text view that we want so we give it the name m title text view and then we develop public report holder view item view super item view m title text view equal to text view item view now we have created a, a view holder a very simple view holder as an inner class so currently our view holder is only working with the text view which will be equal to the title of the report that we uh, wanted to display so this was if i if you have forgotten this is the title that we are referring to correctly Now, after doing the view holder, the next item is to build the adapter. So we will keep working in the same file and we'll build the adapter as another inner class. So if you remember in the earlier chapter, I had asked you to read about inner classes and today you can see the use of them in Android programming. So this is our adapter and this will be this will hold to the report holder so to the report holder so we'll have a list list of report to pick from notes then we will have our report adapter reports m reports equal to let's say whatever we are passing
class must either be declared abstract or implement abstract method on point view holder. Okay. So let's hold on right now. So um, as you see, there is an error. So this the code will not compile. Uh, this is nothing to worry. We will add some code more, some more code here. But let's try to understand that what we are doing. So now our recycler view will communicate with this adapter uh, when a view holder needs to be created or connected with a report object. The recycler view will not know anything about the report object, but the adapter will know about the reports object and the details of the report. Now let us implement few more methods in the report adapter. <clears throat> so at override public report holder on create view holder view group parent int view type layout inflator layout inflator equal to layout filter get activity then view view layout filter view equal to layout filter dot inflate and and droid dot r dot layout dot simple list item one parent and we will return the new report holder view the second method which we are going to implement is the on bind view holder that's a this is a mandatory method so public void on bind view holder report holder holder int position report report equal to m reports dot get position holder dot m title text view dot set text report dot get title and the third method which we are going to implement is a simple get item counter at override public int get item count return m reports 
dot size. So now our adapter is uh, almost complete. Okay. So now our implementation of the report adapter class is almost complete. And we have done a lot of work in this class. So let us quickly go through that what we have been doing. So let us come first to the method called on create view as uh, you can understand that this method will be called when we create the view. So this uh, so it will inflate the view that we have uh, created recently the fragment report list this view. and that is the job of it so it creates a view it does the find view id and then it uses the layout manager as i explained earlier the next uh, important work that we did was in the class the private class the inner class report adapter so in report adapter we are first using this method called on create view holder so on create view holder will be called by the recycler view uh, it is usually called by the recycler view when it needs a new view to display an item and uh, just as you can see that we are using something called simple list item one so this is an android layout to display list and that is what we are using because this is something which we find as useful in our scenario then the in the on view on bind view holder uh, this method will bind a view holders view to our model object okay it receives the view holder so it is receiving the view holder here and it is receiving the position and then it binds that so basically we are in this we are doing nothing but whatever we want to show and because we want to show the title that's why we are using this and then the last one is simply to get the count or the size of and now that we have created our adapter, uh, we will try to connect it to our recycler view. And for that, we will be implementing few more methods. So let's start with the coding again. So let's go to our file report list fragment, which is this file. And in this file, we will like to first access the adapter that we have just created. So private report adapter and i will just call it m adapter okay and then in the on create view method we will actually in the last line we will just call another method let's call it update ui we will soon be implementing update ui so far there is no update ui that's why we are getting an error but uh, we will soon uh, update uh, we will soon implement this method so that we can update the ui so let's start with updating the method uh, with implementing the method so i will do private void update ui and in this basically we are doing report so we are taking our report and what we are doing is we are doing report store dot get get activity and then we are doing list report ports equal to report store dot get reports and then our adapter we initialize it new report adapter reports sorry uh, and we will simply do a call our recycler view and we will set adapter 
as our editor. So that is the update QI method which will now be called when the on create view is called. Now first let's try to run our program and see how does it look right now. We are still using Nexus 6P API 23. Later is here and yes. Now you see that we are seeing a very nice list of reports that we will be creating. We can scroll through it. Now let's add some more detail to what we are already seeing. So what we are already seeing is simply the title and uh, we may want to see more information. For example, we may want to see a date or in, in some cases we may want to see a subtitle. In some cases we may want to see some additional information. So what we will do is we will uh, now learn that how to customize this view, the view of an individual item. So this is called the item layout and we will be customizing it. So uh, as usual, we will create a layout file in the layout. So I go to new create layout resource file. Let us give it a name list underscore report uh, list underscore item underscore report let us choose uh, linear layout as its root element directory name layout we press ok and we have got our layout file our basic layout file which says nothing but simply a linear layout uh, we will be modifying it so that we can put this layout over there so uh, first let us change it to relative layout it, because we want to put elements side by side not always in the vertical we could have chosen relative layout when we were creating the layout file uh, but it doesn't matter we can just change the layout here and it will be fine and now we will be adding two three items to this layout file two three view items okay so first thing that we will be adding is a checkbox so let's add a checkbox here a checkbox the width is good enough to be wrap content and the height is also good enough to be wrap content we will be doing an Android layout align parent right and I will set it to true. I will very quickly show you why I am doing it and then we do a small amount of padding Android padding equal to let's say 4 dp and because we will be making use of it that is when we do a check or uncheck we will have to assign it an id Port, score to sold, let's go to check box. So let us see. So now we have got a checkbox. We will have to add also two more elements. One is a text view to show the title. view again we will do the width we would like to have it as match parent the height is good enough to be that content then we will add so we would like uh, to add it to the left of our checkbox and that's the reason why we are choosing a relative layout android layout underscore to 
laptop and here we will simply give the id of the item we want our current item to be left off and uh, we also want that is text is bold so text style equal to let's say bold we could have chosen italic as you can see and another option and we will also do some padding here maybe of same amount so that it looks good and i will just say in case so well this is not really necessary so we can even report total we can even remove that it's not really necessary so yeah, let's have this uh, the important item is also again the id so we'll do id Android ID equal to again at plus ID slash list slash item underscore report underscore title because this is the title and this is the text view. So this is complete. Let's see the design. As you can see that here our title will come and here our checkbox will come. So that's all right. We need to also add one more text view just underneath. So we will copy it and just change the required values. So first is that we want it to be the date. So we do a date. Now first error is gone match parent wrap content is fine id again we do list item uh, report uh, so the uh, to left of so this is not uh, this is to the left of the salt checkbox but it is also going to be below the well let's just type it it is also going to be below the title so layout uh, blow and at id slash list title text view so it is to the left of the checkbox and below the title uh, the padding is fine we can remove the text style and this is okay so as you can see here you can see here the title will come here the date will come here the checkbox will come so that seems to make our layout complete now need now we need to go back into our code and use this layout instead of the default android layout that we were using so we were using a simple list layout now we will just change that uh, we will just change that to our layout so this was the layout that we were using we need not to use it anymore we can just remove it and we can say r dot layout dot list item report now this is fine so let's go to the file report folder which was the part of the report list fragment so yeah so this was our private report holder now we are going to make some changes into it number one thing is that because we have changed our layout the program will not run as it is so we will have to make some more changes so let me remove this line and we will be adding few more private text view so now we have three text view m title text view we have another private text view for the date 
and date and date text view and we have one checkbox private checkbox m m result checkbox and result checkbox public uh, report holder so per item view and that is fine but we will have to now remove this line and put m um, title text view equal to text view but we will have to now do it in a proper manner so r dot id dot list title text view and the same thing for m actually it would be good if we put an enter here that makes it more clear m date text view equal to similar line of code and then we do this of item view dot find view by id r dot id dot list date text view and then for the checkbox m result checkbox equal to checkbox item view dot find view by id r dot id dot list report result checkbox so now our uh, report holder has uh, what we have recently created now let's make some more changes into our code especially in the uh, in the report holder class the same class that we have been changing and we will just implement few more methods into it so this is all fine I will just make sure that have a private report and report and then I add a method private void bind report with takes up report port and sets few things m title text view dot set text dot m report dot get title m date text view dot text dot m port dot get date dot to string and then m result checkbox dot set checked m report dot is result okay so uh, we have taken a report and then set our view items accordingly. Now let's go to our adapter and uh, try to use this new method that we have just created. So we will go to our adapter and in this on bind view holder, earlier we were simply using our M title text view, which is no longer valid because now we are displaying a lot more then we will just simply go to bind report report that's it so uh, we have changed uh, a substantial amount of code from just starting by just displaying title to now displaying a lot more than the title and uh, now let's run our program to see that how it works
as you can see that now we see more information but we would like to see where the other reports are gone so if you run the if you scroll down then you will see that we have all the other reports but somehow each report is occupying one screen so let us try to see that why it is doing that and why we are not able to see the list that we were earlier seeing beautifully so let's stop our program so what is your guess where you do you think we may have made an error so that we are now seeing the reports multiple reports but each report is occupying one screen which is not correct so my guess is that we made an error when we created the new layout. So let us look into our XML file to check whether we indeed made an error. So the layout that we are currently using is the list item report. The list item report is here. We described it using a relative layout and that there we added the text view, text view and checkbox. Um, okay, so here is our error. We are setting the height to match parent and that's why each item is occupying the whole screen. Let's change it to wrap content. So currently you're seeing one report occupying whole, whole screen. Let's change it to wrap content and see what happens. So let's restart our program after changing it to wrap content and see what happens. Yes, so now we can see our list again. Uh, each, this is the title, this is the date, this is the checkbox corresponding to each report. Currently, uh, nothing is happening if we are doing the checkbox. So let's add some more code so that when we do a checkbox, then we can see something happening in our code. So all we have to do is write a listener. That's it. Let's stop our program and go back to coding. So uh, let's go back to our same file where we have been making most of our changes. That is the report holder, report holder, because here we would like to set a listener to this. So we did the spy term view and then we will do as, we will just make that item view dot set on click listener this and in order to make it work we will have to implement view dot on click listener this is giving me an error because I have not implemented a method. Oh, sorry. So that method is called the on click. So I will soon override that method and everything will be fine. So let's see public void on click. V and we will do nothing but we will just display our toast as we usually do when we want to just do a small activity. So m report dot get title plus let's say clicked and then this is a toast of obviously short length toast of short length and then we show so yes so now we have created a listener as well. So now let's run our program again and see what happens. You 
see that we are saying that the report clicked report 5 clicked our listener was a general listener to the report so it is not responding to checkbox it's to the report because we added the listener here to the item view so it is referring to the clicks so that's all sounds very good what we did in this what we did in the in the program so far is that we have been able to add a lot of code and that code has helped us to show a better view than what we were earlier having in this class we learned about something new something called a recycler view and we also learned about how we use adapters and view holders with recycler view to create a view that is very useful for displaying a list of items Earlier we were using uh, linear layouts, relative layouts, etc., which are very good when we know that how many items we are going to display. Uh, but recycler view is very good when we want to uh, display a lot many items and we don't know their number either in advance or they are just too many. For example, here we had 100 items and we may have had 1000 items. Now earlier uh, Android used to have something called as list view and grid view and these were uh, these are still there these are uh, the list view and grid view are still present but earlier till the android 5.0 these were the preferred ways to create lists or grids of items and the api of those is also very similar to what is recycler view but now in the newer implementation of android especially after android 5.0 recycler view is used by default instead of the list view or grid view because the list view and grid view were much more complex and recycler view is much simpler as you saw that uh, recycler view we only had to use a view holder and an adapter and then we could define even a custom layout for each of the item that we were displaying so this was all very easy to do in the recycler view uh, another thing is that the recycler view also provides an animation of items in the list uh, so you can uh, do that later on in the programs. Uh, this was something which was very difficult in list view or grid view, uh, but Android, but Recycler view makes it very easy. So it has some few built-in animations which make a better GUI. So uh, that is all for this line of lectures. So in this uh, series of lectures, we have learned about Recycler view, single tons, and some other things. We will continue modifying our program. Uh, to add more functionality to this so one thing which i did not show very clearly was to how to include the support library for recycler view uh, we included just the same way we included library for the fragment so the procedure is same you click on file go to project structure go to your app go to your dependencies go to the plus sign go to library dependency and here you can type in the search bar recycler and hopefully it will give you the right so it will give you the right recycler view library that you need to include and you can just press ok and get included because i have already included it it will show up here i can show you in the more detailed view so that's what you need in order to compile this project so that is it uh, we will continue developing this work but in this series of lecture by now you have learned about recycler thank you